Good morning, friends. So we are here at Robbie's of Isla Morada, which is like a local establishment, a must-do when you're here in the Keys. So they have, um, you can feed tarpons here, they have a marketplace, uh, you can do like water sport rentals and such. But first off, we are gonna have breakfast at their famous restaurant, The Hungry Tarpon. Look at my husband with his hat. Hi, sweetie. The Hungry Tarpon is a waterfront restaurant in the heart of Isla Morada that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and even has an option for cooking your own catch after your fishing expedition. Got to get breakfast burrito. It's huge. After breakfast, we walked around and checked out the shops before heading over to feed the tarpons. Grab a bucket of bait fish and dangle them over the water at your own peril. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, do another one. No, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, do another one. one. It's terrifying. I know. <laughs> Last on our to-do list at Robbie's was to charter a one-hour eco-boat tour with Captain Samantha. We got an up-close view of the mangroves and lots of wildlife and fish out in the water. If you're looking for a unique place to find some souvenirs, check out the Rain Barrel Village. This tropical garden oasis features a ton of galleries and specialty shops that are sure to pick any traveler's interest. After lunch and a quick nap, we headed to the pool for some relaxation time before getting ready for dinner at the Fish House Restaurant and Seafood Market. This place is a must try. All right, keeping the lobster train going with some lobster bisque. And then I got shrimp scampi. That looks really good. There's so many shrimp, oh my goodness. I went to And snapper Hemingway style, which is like a garlic butter sauce or wine butter sauce. Oh, like Food's good. What did you get, Sophie? Waffles. What? Waffles. Waffles. All right, baby, good. It's a broken yolk sandwich. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah. And I got French toast. I have not gotten French toast here before, but it looks amazing. The next day, we decided to camp out on the beach. We love Baker's Cay because they have such a great variety of activities, including water sports rentals, a plethora of fish to observe, and a bunch of fun floating docks where you can relax and sunbathe. Down to our second to last lunch at Dry Rocks, the hotel. Some cocktails. We did. I got a cocktail. Keys. What is it called? I don't know. Something. Yeah. Keys to the island, maybe. But it's like an Aperol vodka drink. Pretty good. Sophie, did you have fun in the water this morning? Yeah. What are we watching, Nemo? Are we watching Nemo? Are we watching Nemo? All right. So we got some chicken nachos. Those look. Real good. Burger. Is it burger time? And lobster quesadilla. For dinner, we headed over to Pierre's restaurant. We got the Kobe. What is it called? Kobe crudo and foie gras. All right, so we got scallops with corn and crispy potatoes. And for dessert, we got Dolce de Leche Cheesecake. It was hard to decide which was better, the delicious food, the old world vibes, or the incredible waterfront views. Good morning, friends, from our last full day here at 
Key Largo at Baker's Cay Resort. Just enjoying the water, morning views. So we are sad to be leaving, but we are gonna actually gonna go ahead out to Calusa and have breakfast one more time at the restaurant here at the hotel. Um, their food is just so good, so. Uh, after breakfast, we are planning to go to the Turtle Hospital in Marathon, which I'm pretty excited about. We haven't done that yet, so that should be a good time. So let's go. Last breakfast at Calusa, babe. Are you sad? Yep. So good. All right, Rob got the locks, which is a little surprising, but it's very good. And I got my favorite, Eggs Benedict. Alright, so we just got done with the Turtle Hospital tour and this was really cool. I think it was $54 for both of us. So like yeah. $20, $27 a person for adults. And you could see like all of the sea turtles that they've rescued and that they're rehabilitating. Um, you could just feed them. Yep. Uh, we saw a little bit of medical care maybe you could say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah medical care. So the woman was saying that this was actually, it used to be a motel and the owner the owner bought out like the in, motel no the, own, the owner of the motel oh, okay. turned the pool and he ran like salt water in it from the ocean and he put fish in it and i guess and this was back in the 80s and um some guests were wondering what the sea turtles were and so we actually looked into it and you can't have a sea turtle it's illegal unless you have a permit to be like a rehabilitation center so he applied for one and became a rehabilitation center and then slowly turned in um to the motel into the, the hospital. turtle hospital yeah and he's like bought up the property um and apparently across the street as well like yeah. an old nightclub so they use that as like storage for medical yeah. supplies um it's really cool and then i think they said that some of the people that work here like work here like full time they like live here like in the motel rooms or something and they're here on site to take care of the turtles pretty, pretty cool. cool yeah yeah all right we're at keys fisheries i think it's called no keys fisheries right there oh here <laughs> All right, so we are at Keys Fisheries. What'd you get, babe? Um, the Conk Pole Boy. Conk Pole Boy. All right. Looks like a mountain of food. It's a huge amount of food. Thumbs up is usually a good sign. <laughs> I got the lobster roll. So we got popcorn shrimp, they're pretty good. Snoopy! Snoopy! Excuse me, what was that? What a great lunch. <laughs> You're welcome. Right on. Yeah, that's true. We were gonna go get sushi. We called an audible, went to this place called Keys Fisheries, and it was excellent. Alright, so done with lunch, and we are headed to the Aquarium Encounters to go check out some more animals. I'm immediately noticing they have a wine cafe here, so that sounds sweet. Hey, 
All right. Yeah, let's go. Oh, good job. You fed the turtle. Whoa, touch it. Iguana? Iguana. Iguana. All right, it's our last night here at Baker's K in Key Largo, and we are heading to dinner at the restaurant upstairs, Calusa. <laughs> Change of plans. No tables at Calusa, so we're going to Dry Rocks. Last night here at Baker's K. Last night. What do you think, babe? Did you have a good, good trip? Uh, it started off a little rough, but It did start otherwise. off a little rough. We had a little bit of, a couple crises, crises in the beginning, but. First couple days. It's been good. What about you, Sophie? Do you have a fun time? Do you have a fun time? Uh, fun time. Fun time. Yeah, getting tired. All right, well, we are gonna go over and see if we can get some candy and popcorn for our daughter before we put her to bed. That sounds like a great idea. Sounds like so smart. And then we get up at 5 a.m. to go to the airport. So, bye guys. It's bye. been fun. Mm. This did not go well at all. Don't eat it, don't eat it. She just ate one. What is it she said? It's fish and what? Mm. Sophie, they're not for eating. They're for the turtles to eat. Mm. 